Hey everyone, it's Trisha Carr. Welcome to this phase three of 29 days of lunar phase. If you missed the first two days, you can always just go back and listen to those. If this is not a new moon time for you, just trust that any intention that you are in the process of setting, you may be served by the messages and the energy being created in this episode. And this is a mini episode of Charmed Life. As we are approaching day three of our lunar cycle, we are moving from the new moon into the waxing crescent. Well, this energy still is in that new moon. In the new moon, the sun and the moon are in the same alignment and therefore in the same zodiac energy. And I find it appropriate that the first two days during this new moon intention energy, we were asked to go deep within to our own source, the inner being, the inner essence. And so that is what the moon is doing at the time of her new moon period. She is pointing her face at the sun. She is shining her illumination back to the sun and connecting to her source. And then as we move into the waxing crescent, her illumined side begins to peek out, outward facing. And that's what we are transitioning into right now. The tapping into the inner essence and the inner being and eventually bringing that gently out into formation, into action. And what is really beautiful, the message that I received all throughout today about trusting that inner being, the inner essence, where it's so pure, so clear, that it's actually the most functional way to manifest, to keep tending to the action of your intentions. Because when you're tapped into your inner being in such a pure, aligned way, there's so much certainty. And when you feel that trust, that the intentions, that the what it is that you'll be manifesting comes from that pure source, then there isn't even any room for doubt. Doubt is experienced when we are feeling outside of source, your inner being, outside of the clarity of your relationship with the universe and that pure essence. That, that authority that is outside that is from the conditioned, unconscious, collective connection to separation. When, you are, when we are pulling the energy of trying to find clarity from something that is not genuine to us. And so creation points us to ourselves. Creator energy is within the universe points to the depth of your own soul for you to be able to create what it is that you truly are. And so in this third day, the message comes forth, moving from that deep inner essence to where the intentions will begin to be acted upon and take even greater form, always using the foundation of the pure essence. As you went inside to your inner being, to find your perfect divine essence. And now as you approach this third day of intention setting, allow the intentions to begin to take shape. Bring with you the balance and clarity of that deep inner essence. Allow the inner being to be the foundation and the counselor that helps you to take action while remaining calm focused, and certain. Allow your certainty to be from the inside rather than expecting your certainty to be in the outside, in the conditions of that which must be according to whom, according to when, according to the future, or in comparison of your fear of the past. Seek not in that outer essence for your certainty to be real. Continue to visit that space within as you allow structure to come into your intentions. 
Do you have a new business venture? Feel that perfect divine inner essence and shine it at the new venture. Like the waxing crescent beginning to peer her illumination from the inside, from her deep connection to her source, and then shining it out while staying connected to her source, receiving her illumination from the source. Shine out that intention. When you envision the success of this venture, fall in love with the energy beneath the success, beneath the details. Fall in love with that energy. Then you can trace that love back to your inner essence again and allow the frequencies to bounce back and forth between your inner essence and your source until there is a purified line of execution, of action from the inner essence to the outcome, to the successful outcome that you connect with in love. You may start to take action remembering the true place of certainty, the inner being. This may be a time where you do some catch-up work, this time between the intention setting and the beginning of the illumination, the beginning of the action, on what would be aligned as the second and third, between the second and third day of a lunar cycle. Catch up work, anything that is backlogged, that needs to be tidied up before you take the actions that are in your new intention, as that example of a new business venture. It is a good time to listen to your body too as you are beginning to take action, beginning to hone the frequency of your intentions. There is grace. There is grace that exists before the action is fully taken. Three days of intention setting. And so your body, it can inform you of the frequency that you are cleaning up. Your body will show you the habits that you're ready to move past. Ignoring the body's messages this actually creates patterns. This will mean patterns in thinking and feeling and compounding any symptoms in the body. The body is the interpretation of the subconscious mind, the interbetween, the language showing you the habits that you are off-gassing and moving away from. The body is always off-gassing energy. And so whatever your body is showing you, Perhaps it's fatigue, lethargy, or some kind of pain or discomfort. Interpret these signs using your heart. And that means to stay out of judgment and to stay out of over-intellectualizing. Be in that interpretive energy. As the messages become clear, those messages from your body, what your body is showing you, know that it is energy that you are ready to release. The body is the final ground of release. Take the messages seriously and lovingly. If you are confused by the communication that you are discerning from the body, then go into meditation and open a dialogue. Open a dialogue with that communication from the body. For example, is the big toe on your left foot sore? Go into meditation and focus your attention on that left toe. Welcome it in with love. Thank it for the messages that it is giving. Ask it what it needs. Ask it how you can support. If you can imagine, guess, or pretend what the message may be, do it from a place of calm and patience, grace and compassion. Ask it how you can be a support. Be willing to receive whatever comes from the communication. And that means even if it is nothing. Nothing is actually something. Nothing may be peace. Or perhaps nothing is a fertile void. Validate whatever messages come forth. And this is a powerful way to move from 
the intention forming to the forming from the intention. Continue to feel your inner essence as you peer your illumination out into the world, just like the waxing crescent. Thank you for joining me for this third day of our lunar phase. I'll connect with you tomorrow. Happy manifesting. I love you, whoever you are. Hey everyone, it's Trisha Carr. I'm really excited because it is the time of the year for me to offer my Animal Communication Comprehensive Program live online. Whether you are interested in the profession or if you would like to connect more deeply with your own animal family members, having an understanding of this form of telepathy will enhance your life and all of your other intuitive gifts. About once per year, I offer this program live, and that time is now. It is starting in December of 2019, and this particular live program has some bonus time added in. So the way this program works is it is delivered live online, and we also have a private study group of a beautiful community of like-hearted animal and nature lovers. Go ahead and check it out. The link is in the description and I hope to see you there. Thank you so much for your love of animals, for your love of our planet, and for shining your light on our beautiful world.